Neuroscientist Natasha Hardcastle has all the attributes that would impress a first date. But her intellect and independence may just intimidate a potential partner who can't match her in these departments. It would be their loss, not hers, because there's a big heart that goes along with the brain, as Karishma discovered when she met up with Natasha. Cape Town's Kruitskir Hospital is famous for its involvement in groundbreaking medical research. So it's where you'd expect to find a brilliant PhD candidate at work. On the other hand, you may not have expected this researcher to be so heartbreakingly gorgeous as we saw on a recent reality show. You might think of Natasha Hardcastle as a pretty princess in search of a prince, but she is way more than just a pretty face. She's a bilingual PhD student, cancer researcher, musician, art lover, and a multitude of other things which I cannot wait to discover. Natasha, you look as lovely as ever. Welcome to Mela. Oh my goodness, Krishma. Mm -hmm. No touching, it's everything sterile. I'm sorry. <laughs> In a lab, you have to be very careful. So you see gloves, everything covered, shoes included. Tell me, what is it that you do exactly? What we do in the lab specifically is we're trying to improve diagnostics in breast cancer. My work specifically looks at triple negative breast cancer and aiming to improve the marker identification that we have. Tell me a bit about your childhood and what piqued your interest in science. I had a very good childhood. My mom was such a supportive influence in my life. She was a super nerd. She loved reading to me. And my grandma was actually very good at medicinal healing sort of tinctures. She would always have something to heal someone. So it's kind of maybe a family thing. My mom really piqued my interest in learning and information. She didn't want a wedding. She wanted a PhD. So we're almost there. Speaking of what you are currently working towards your PhD and you're almost done. What we're trying to do is look specifically at South African biopsies and using combinations of biomarkers to identify the kinds of cancer that's present, diagnose it faster so we can treat it faster. And the real little twist in the tail for us is that our diagnosis tool can also be used as a treatment. What exactly is a biomarker? Biomarker is a biological marker. It's like the cell's personality. Like we have faces with noses and mouths and ears. Those are your face's biomarkers. And in cancer, what you'll find very often, more often than not, is that you'll have an overexpression of a specific marker or an absence of one. And what we try and do is categorize, identify, treat. What else excites that beautiful brain of yours? I really like running. I love playing piano. I love to sing. It always makes me happy. Speaking of which, actually, I have something planned for us to help us unwind. Oh, that sounds divine. This is amazing. It's exactly what I needed. Number one way to fight against cancer and terrible things happening in the body is stress relief. So I love my stress relief. Now, a little birdie told me that you were also a backup singer. Yes, I did a little bit of singing on Andrew Khan's album last year. Oh, it was so much fun. I'd never been in a studio before. I was so nervous, but she was amazing. She was like singing all of these amazing lines and studio time. It was very exciting. It was great fun. You also play multiple instruments. Yes, piano, classical, and electric guitar, which I love. How do you fit it all in? I try and balance my life, and I think the most important thing when you're busy is the me time. Speaking of that, what do you do for your me time? I really enjoy meditation. I think it's very good to still the mind. I love yoga and breathing. Breathing is actually a good one. What advice do you have for young women who want to pursue a career in science? I would say don't be afraid. The trick is to assume that you will get there. Each step you don't know is there to tell you you don't know, so later on you know. And keep things simple. One goal to the next, and then you'll reach where you really want to be. So don't fight off more than you can chew. One of the best parts of my job is getting to meet and spend time with incredible women like Natasha who inspire me on so many levels. Natasha, thank you so much for taking time out of your really busy schedule to spend the day with me. I had a great time, thank you.